up you guys welcome back to my channel if you're wondering why I'm starting with everything out of my bag it's because this is the third time that I'm filming this video because my camera it's a new camera and I'm still figuring out the focus and it was unfocused both times both times so I'm really hoping that it's good now um, and I'm just gonna start with everything out of the bag to make it easier for myself um, and I'm gonna show you guys where everything goes in the bag, so it kind of works out. Today, I am filming a bit of a different video than my typical vlog or marketing-related video. Um, this is going to be a what's in my travel carry-on bag, but specifically for when I'm going to remote work somewhere. Uh, I've kind of learned to narrow down the things that I really, really need in to this carry-on and I found that I have actually carried it a really like good amount of things to carry with me onto the plane without overpacking which I usually always do and I wanted to share with you guys this bag as well this is not sponsored by Monos I purchased this with my own money but I've been on the hunt for a good travel duffel for quite some time and I haven't been able to find one that really meets my exact needs and I feel like this one gets pretty darn close there are a few gripes that I have with it, and there are things that I absolutely love about it, so I'll share all of that with you guys today. I do have a story time about this bag, though, because this is the second one that I've owned, even though I just purchased it uh, at the end of last year. The very first time that I got this bag, it was missing a zipper tag, which, not that big of a deal, but the first time that I ever used it, it actually broke on me in the airport. I wasn't even carrying like an insane amount of things. Like you can see it's pretty, it's just the essentials that I carry. And the little loop that the strap attaches to actually completely ripped off its stitching. The bag dropped in the middle of the airport when I was walking to my gate. And thankfully nothing in the bag broke. My laptop, my camera, everything was fine. But I took a photo immediately, reached out to their support um, because I knew that it had to be a manufacturer's defect. I didn't believe that this bag was going to be so breakable. And I had to do a bit of a square dance with their support, I'm not gonna lie, but they were able to replace the bag for me, which is the solution that I was hoping for. But overall, I would say their support is pretty good. And um, yeah, I was able to get my bag replaced. I've had no issues with this bag at all since then. So I do feel like the first bag that I got was a defect or like a bad batch. Um, so I'm super glad that I was able to get it replaced and it has been absolutely perfect. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I have on the table in front of me. Um, these are all of the things that I carry with me, plus my laptop, which didn't fit on the table. And how it all fits into the Monos Metro Stuffle. So I'll start with my laptop since I have it on um, my arm already. One gripe that I have right off the bat is that the lining of the bag isn't sewn on via the bottom. It's only attached at the top here, which means that you could actually like lift the lining out of the bag, which has its pros and cons. You can lift it out and clean it. Um, so if there's dust or anything that spills in your bag, you can just dump it over and lift it out, clean the lining, which is awesome. But I do find that it does get kind of annoying and I wish that it was fully stitched on the bag because when I sometimes pull things out of the bag, I accidentally pull the lining as well or like the lining gets stuck to something. And I just find that that can be pretty cumbersome when it happens. It does have a separate laptop pouch though, which I like. So I will always put my laptop in there. The laptop that I have currently is the MacBook Pro M1 Max. This thing is an absolute dream. This is probably my one of my favorite Apple products of all time. Um, besides the launch of the first iPhone or the first iPad, I feel like this was one of the most memorable product launches for me because this laptop compared to any of their other laptops that I've ever used has been the most different and the one that felt like the biggest upgrade. Again, this goes perfectly into the little laptop pouch. This is a 16 inch laptop. So if you have a smaller laptop, it'll fit really well as well. The inside of the bag has actually four organization compartments. So there's that MacBook one that I told you guys about. 
There are two pockets on the sides that look like they're both meant for your bottle, but can be obviously used to store other things as well. And then there is a zippered compartment in the bag as well, but I don't use that zipper compartment ever because again, it can be really annoying to unzip and zip that compartment because of how loose the inside lining is. So I don't ever really use that, but I do use the bottle um, pocket. And in that bottle pocket, I keep my Lark bottle this is the one that's a bit smaller, it's the 500 milliliter, and this is such a game changer for traveling. Just having the peace of mind that you will have clean drinking water no matter where you go is life-changing. And this cleans to the equivalent of boiling your water for 20 minutes, so as long as you have clear water um, and it doesn't have any sediment in it, the bottle is able to clean it to a point where you can drink it. And yeah, having this when you travel is incredible, especially coming from somewhere like Vancouver where we have great access to potable water. Like we, our tap water is amazing um, and I actually prefer it to bottled water, but I know obviously not all places are going to be the same. So having this just kind of ensures that you will always have clean drinking water, which is a total blessing and very, very important for when I travel. Next thing I have in here is my tech pouch. Um, I don't remember the brand name, but I will include the brand as well as the link to this specific tech pouch in the description box below. This thing is amazing. Look at how much stuff fits in here and it doesn't really look like it's going to zip when you open it, but it always does and it kind of compresses everything down. This thing weighs like more than my MacBook, it's crazy. But um, I do try to slim this down and just bring the essentials with me. Sometimes I will put some of these electronics into my check-in luggage with me if I'm bringing one. But overall, these are kind of the essentials that I bring with me everywhere I go and I'll quickly go over them. I have in here my Instago 360 as well as a attachment. This is the one that kind of sticks anywhere. And I bring this with me when I know that I want to be like creative with my projects and use that. I have a dongle for my MacBook. I have a tripod for my vlogging camera. I have my Samsung portable SSD. This is the T5 in the one terabyte. Also life-changing product. First of all, look at how small it is. And second of all, not having to worry about your external hard drive breaking super easily like all the old external hard drives that I used to use um, were like. It's game changing. It's game changing to know that I can feel safe about where all of my um, footage and all of my other important documents are being kept. I also have a Apple wireless charger. This is the one that charges your phone on one side and your Apple watch on the other and then it folds up really neatly and packs away, which I love that. I have an Apple Watch strap. This is just a um, fabric one that's good for sports. I have my leather strap on most of the time, but I will bring this with me if I know that I might be like going hiking or going to the gym. I have a couple of extra camera batteries. I have an extra SD card in case I need that. MacBook charger, the, ch the cord for the MacBook charger, lightning cable, um, a charger block for the lightning cable. And then the last thing is the charger for those extra batteries that I have for my camera. Next thing that I always have with me are my headphones. These are the Bose noise canceling headphones. These are amazing, especially if you work remotely and you take a lot of meetings and calls. The noise canceling in these headphones is spectacular. And I will say the mic I find is actually really good at canceling out background noise as well. So even if I'm working in a really busy cafe or some other busy environment where there's a lot of noise going on in the background, I literally never get complaints from the people that I'm on call with about that. So I just think that this, it's been the best thing that I've used for calls and you will always, always see me use this on the plane. It'll always be with me. Um, and I bring it everywhere I go where I know I'm going to be remote working. Next things are my notebooks. I bring two notebooks with me typically everywhere I go. The smaller one contains all of my work things, so things from to-do lists to meeting notes to ideas and thoughts. Um, everything goes into here. This is a Look Term um, bullet journal and I got it in this lovely brown color. 
And then for my personal thoughts, I actually have this Moleskin soft cover large notebook. I usually use the Lion version, but this year I decided to try the Bullet version and I have been really liking it as well. Um, these two notebooks, like this will always, I will always buy the Lick Term Bullet Journal for my work things. And I will always, always buy the Moleskin soft cover large notebook for my diary. I'm just very particular about my stationery and once I find something I like, I will continue to use it forever. This is like my fourth one of this and like probably my like seventh one of these. Next, I have this little pouch. My friends actually used to call me the crazy pouch lady because I like to have pouches for everything. One, because it protects whatever thing goes inside of it, but also because it makes it a little bit more organized in your bag. So I have this little colorful pouch that I got in a PR package, but I keep my vlogging camera in here. This is the white Sony ZV-1, and I have this Ulanzi uh, wide lens on it because these two things combined, I just think makes the perfect vlogging setup. Um, I find that the camera without the wide angle lens is, it's all right, it's still a good camera, but for vlogging purposes, you need, need, need to get the Ulanzi wide angle lens. It's an absolute must. And then recently I picked up the Peak Design cuff as well. Peak Design has me in such a chokehold right now. I've purchased so many of their things in the last little while. Um, yeah. I think I own like one thing from each category now and it's, I don't know if it's that necessary, but I have been absolutely loving their whole ecosystem. The last pouch that goes inside of my big bag is this little pouch. I just stole this little canvas pouch from my partner who eats mono meals all the time, but I just keep my Logitech MX Master 3 mouse in here. It's a pretty bulky mouse. Um, but I would not use another mouse. It's just so ergonomic and fits my palm so well that I do carry this with me everywhere I go. Like, even if I'm just running quickly to a cafe, this comes with me. And I used to just throw this in my bag, but it's taken quite a beating. Um, and I know that I need to take better care of it. So in a pouch it goes. That's everything that goes into that main compartment and as you can see like there's still quite a bit of space it's not filled up right to the brim which i like the back of the bag actually has a separate zip zippered compartment and usually i will use this zipper compartment for one of two things um one either my ipad pro i have the 11 no 10.9 inch so almost 11 inch um, and even with the magic keyboard on it, it fits perfectly into the slot. Like literally the width is perfect. It will not fit at 12.9. Um, and yeah, I absolutely love it. I love that it fits in here and it just almost feels like it's made for that. But for the times that I'm not bringing my iPad because I don't need it, I bring a different form of entertainment and that is my Nintendo Switch. Best portable gaming device ever. I absolutely love my switch i typically try to bring this everywhere i go as well um when i know that i will have like downtime if i'm just taking a quick trip and i know that i am going to be working that entire trip i just don't bother but this is the best gaming console to be bringing with you when you're traveling because it's just so portable i have all my favorite games on here and if i'm going on a longer trip i actually will bring the dock the docking system as well um, but I just put it in my checked luggage and um, yeah especially if I know I'm gonna have a TV I bring that as well but typically I just throw the switch into here it zips up and it's also like the perfect width for that and moving on to the last part of the bag which is the front of the bag so the front of the bag has this extra pouch um, and it has one of my favorite features, which was an absolute must when I was looking for a carry-on bag, like a travel bag. And it's the fact that you can put um, your luggage handle through there, through the slot, and your bag will sit comfortably on your luggage without 
like the worries of it like falling off, which I hate. You can actually close that slot as well. There's a zipper, but I always leave it open because I know I'm gonna be popping it on and off my luggage and it just works so beautifully. That is such an important feature and all of your travel bags should have it. It's just a must for me. It's absolutely a must. Um, so I'm very, very glad that this bag has that. It also has this pouch in the front, which is actually removable, which is really awesome. Um, you can use this for a toiletries bag or you can use it as a separate tech bag. Put oh, my AirPods in there. But this is actually a really cool system because Manos makes a separate folio case, which is a bit bigger than this, but it's got a more like specific organization system in it. This one has one zippered compartment and then two other pockets. Ooh, you know what's missing from here? My key ring. There is a key ring that goes on here and it clips into this bag, which are on my keys right now. Um, but that's a really cool like piece as well. And then it even has a little leather strap in there for you to like clip your pens to. So this already has really great organization features, but their folio case has even more organization uh, aspects to it. And it's really cool because you can just like swap them out for each other, clip them back onto your bag and then it's secured. And then to remove it, there is this little pull tab at the bottom that you have to um, pull in order to release the clasp. And then you can take this to go or if you just want your bag to be slimmer, you can just keep it off. And then you have a much slimmer duffel bag. But I always keep it on. And what I usually keep in this bag are just things that I know that I'm gonna be reaching for the most often. So my passport usually goes in this bag. I don't have it with me now, but the passport always goes into that zippered compartment. And then I have an extra wallet. I do have a separate other thing that I keep my cards in, but this contains all the cards, like most of my cards, an air tag in case I lose it, um, coins, some cash, and yeah, just like pretty much all of my cards that aren't my main cards, which goes on this wallet, which is attached to the back of my phone. This is um, an awesome Apple wallet actually. And this actually just attaches to your phone via MagSafe. And it has a Find My product um, feature to it, which means if I leave this wallet in a restaurant and I like walk out the door with my phone, my phone will notify me and be like, hey, you left your wallet, like go back and get it. So that is a really awesome feature that I very much so need. For the iPhone that I'm currently using, this is the Apple iPhone 13 Pro Max. Um, I always get the larger versions of the phones that come out because I prefer having a larger screen because I do a lot of editing on my phone. So having that is really, really important to me. I have my backup headphones, which are my AirPods. These are actually the first generation of AirPods. They're super old, but they're not broken. They still work great, so I don't replace them. I always try to keep hand cream with me, especially if I'm going on an airplane because my hands get really dry. I usually just throw whatever hand cream I'm currently using into there. Currently, it is the Brunette the Label X Midnight Paloma Self Care Club hand cream, and this is in a shea butter and rose scent. Hand sanitizer. I don't go anywhere without hand sanitizer anymore. And I think this is a habit that I will probably keep with me even after COVID is over because it's just gross. It's gross. Things are gross and I don't want to touch things that other people have touched without hand sanitizing afterwards. Sanitizing afterwards. Um, especially if I'm going on a plane, I literally spray this all over everything um, before I sit down because why not? Just clean it. Um, this is the Dr. Bronner's Mint Peppermint Organic Hand Sanitizer. They also come in a lavender scent as well, which is lovely as well, but I love, love, love the peppermint one. And I always repurchase these specifically because these don't dry out my hands. I also have a little rollerball perfume in here. This is Origin, Original by Riddle. This is such a fun scent. Um, I got this in 
some sort of like a sample packet and yeah this is just the one that i have in my bag right now i always try to carry a rollerball scent with me to freshen up and i absolutely love that one i have two pens that i carry with me um these are both muji pens i love 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 muji pens they are like the only pens that i like to use anymore and these clip right onto that little leather strap the last thing is my kobo i usually will always either carry a book my kobo or both depending on what i'm reading i do have a lot of books that i have left on my bookshelf that I need to read so I always do try to carry a physical book with me but if I'm going on a longer trip I will bring my Kobo along with me as well because it's able to carry a lot of books in a very small form factor. Right now I actually am reading one of the books on my Kobo which is Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover so I just have my Kobo in here from my last weekend trip. But typically, if I am traveling on an airplane, I will bring one physical book and my Kobo along with me, um, just so I have options. And yeah, all of that zips into there, and that is my carry-on. You might disagree, and you might be like, Angel, that is way too many things to carry. But typically, if I'm remote working, there really isn't much that I would remove from this bag. Again, there are some probably like tech products in the tech pouch that I could put in my check-in luggage, but everything else I require, like my journal, my notebook for work, my laptop, my vlogging camera, um, my Kobo, they're all things that I use pretty often, especially when I'm on the plane and I'm bored, I write or I read, those are my two things that I do. Sometimes I will like, you know, forego the Nintendo Switch if it's going to be a short trip, but I mean, really, it all fits really well in this bag and I really feel like I've narrowed it down to the things that I really want to carry. And I love that everything fits into here really neat. It's well organized. It's not like abnormally heavy, I would say. And yeah, I know I wanted to create this video because I love going through these types of videos that other creators make because it gives me organization tips on how I can organize my own bags, whether that is like my normal everyday bag or my carry-on. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you did. Of course, hit the notification bell as well if you wanna be notified when my videos come out. Again, I will have everything, including the bag, listed in the description box below. I will literally try to find everything that I have or that I showed you um, and put in the description if you are interested. That's something else too is I love, love, love finding like product recommendations and sometimes people don't link them or at least tell me what the product is in the description and it gets super hard to find. So I will try to make sure that I link everything and if I can't find the exact thing, I'll find a replacement for that thing for you guys. So everything will be in the description box. But that is it. I hope you guys are having an amazing day wherever you are in the world. I am praying that this is it and that I don't need to film this video again. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!